presented here for McElroy again. Who makes the most of it? Sammy's such a guy I've spent a lot of time with down the years and he's brilliant and as for Norman, uh, he, w he was a man when he was a boy without being the cliche, you know. Sammy, Norman, they were just working class people like us. It's fantastic seeing Sammy, fantastic seeing uh, Norman as well. Manchester United has always had a big Irish following since the 19th century and they had great Irish captains like Johnny Carey lifting the FA Cup in 1948 and Noel Cantwell doing the same in 1963. That same year the Belfast boy George Best made his debut and later will Belfast boy Sammy McElroy and Norman Whiteside do the same. But they had to live through the troubles first. In 1969, when I left Belfast to come to Manchester, the, the troubles had just started and they were really, really bad. I was very, very concerned about leaving my mum and dad back home because where we lived, we were in the heart of the trouble. I used to go to the park or go out and play football in the street and I hear bombs, I hear shootings and, and my mum always said, if you hear anything, the first thing you do is come home. So that was my part of growing up. People were dying. I, I had a school friend who, who got shot while just walking the street, which was terrible. There was bombs, there was bonfires, there was shootings, there was everything going on around my area. But my father said to me, listen, get out of here, get over to Manchester, get your head focused on your trial and take it from there. We'll be okay. But obviously when I went to Manchester, I was phoning every opportunity to see how my parents were. Stepney collected and fed his forwards. Waiting to receive was mighty best. He simply walked the ball into the net. Manchester United had just won the European Cup in 68. I went in 69 and my father was uh, saying to me about, listen, this is your opportunity to become a footballer, to make something of your life. You don't want to be here. But once I arrived in Manchester, my head started getting into the football. Even though at such a young age, I wanted to be a footballer so much. I wanted to be playing with George. That was my dream, to play with George. He was a big influence on me trying to do that. If I'm going to be very, very honest, I didn't really um, look up to George. I didn't look up to many people. All I had on my own mind, Thomas, was that I was focused about me and I had the focus on myself to get to the top. I was very lucky that when I was 13 years old, Manchester United invited me across. So I think football um, gave me the biggest um, step in my career to get away from the, the troubles back home. Where we were from, you were rather Protestant or Catholic, whereas when you play football, you're all one. Protestant, Catholic, very mixed, but we're all Manchester United fans at heart. You only wear the colours of red, white and black. You would generally get youths throwing stones at each other across the divide on, on where, the, you know, where, the, where the two communities clashed. But what you'd also sometimes get, which was like shows like United Breach, it, you'd have United shirts on both sides. So these people, and that's the main, I'm not trying to glorify that, I'm just saying that United have always had fans from both communities. Sam McElroy, a boy from Belfast, only three months past his 17th birthday and getting his chance today because Dennis Law is unfit. Uh, that was my dream come true when I was told on the Saturday morning in November 1971 that I was going to play for Manchester United against Manchester City at Main Road. McElroy to best. Frank O'Farrell was the manager then and he gave me the opportunity to play in place of Dennis Law who was uh, injured. No mobile phones, no way of contacting my mum and dad to say that I would have been playing. My father found out in a bookies back home in Manchester where he worked the TVs in the bookies, came up that I would be making my debut that day, so he was very, very proud. I was only 16 and I was actually on, believe it or not, £16 
a week. And the manager, Big Ron Atkinson, said to me, um, go home and get your suit. You're traveling with the first team. In those days, Thomas, there was only one substitute. The press were saying, oh, this young kid from Belfast might make his debut. And I came on for 12 minutes and we won the game 1-0. Players like Sam McElroy and Norman Whiteside coming through Manchester United's first team meant a lot to the Irish people. Norman scoring that goal against Everton, you know, from Northern Ireland, just meant so much from Northern Ireland, seeing a Northern Ireland man doing that, you know, and for Manchester United, which is the, the main thing as well. Norman Whiteside has done it again! We were very proud of them. It gave uh, boys of our age group hope that it could happen. So Matt Busby loved the Irish people because they were travelling from the south, they were travelling from the north to watch Manchester United play and he respected that. Today uh, you know, there's 15,000, possibly 20,000 Irish north and south attend games at Old Trafford. We have coach loads of Irish coming over, coach loads from Belfast, coach loads from Dublin. You will never go through a game without meeting somebody from Ireland and, and, and not may I continue because it's, it's a good laugh, it's a good crack.